Welcome. Today we will be taking apart a Lenovo Legion series gaming laptop. Uh, this particular model is a Y520. So in this particular laptop, uh, the screws have already been removed, but you have 13 Phillips head screws around the bottom cover here. And then after you remove the screws, just take a flat edge and go along the bottom cover to kind of separate it from the little snap connectors. And that will allow you to access the internals. All right, as usual, we will first disconnect the battery. So this is the connector. You just wanna pull it straight out. It usually helps to have a little flat edge or something to help you kind of push it out of the connector. And then we can remove the screws. All right, next we can do the Wi-Fi card. So I'll just pull straight up on the antennas and remove the screw. And just pull the card out of the slot. Looks like in this case, the hard drive has already been removed. Um, otherwise there would be uh, looks like four screws around the perimeter. So I'll just go ahead and remove this. And if your hard drive were installed, it would just be the four screws on either side. All right, now we can do the SSD drive. Got the screw, pull it out of the slot. All right, next we'll do the in out board and the DC jack. So we're going to want to go ahead and flip up the little retainer and remove that ribbon and also free the pram battery from the palm rest. Just held on with some adhesive. And we can go ahead and remove the three screws for the in-out board. All right, then we can remove the metal bracket for the lock that is holding the DC jack in. Just remove the remaining two screws. And then with this type of connector, we'll just pull straight up toward the fan. Now we can remove the CPU fans. So we'll just take our fingernails and get it up underneath the little tabs on the connector. And then we can remove the screws holding in the fans. All 
right, now we can go ahead and remove the heat sink. It does not matter which order you remove the screws, but it does uh, matter which order if you're putting the heat sink back on, um, just so it tightens down evenly. But as far as removal, it doesn't matter. All right, now we can go ahead and remove all of the ribbons connecting the motherboard to the palm rest assembly. Looks like there's quite a few. So I'll do the display cable, just flip up the little retainer. That will release the ribbon. That one's already unplugged. In this type, you slide the little retainer outwards and you can pull the ribbon out. And for the speakers, just grab little tabs with your fingernails and pull straight up. So we'll remove that speaker and put it out of the way. And then we can go ahead and remove the screws holding on the motherboard. have all the screws out just carefully pull up on the motherboard make sure there's no ribbons attached that are still connected to the palm rest and there is your motherboard all right next we're going to work on removing the display assembly from the palm rest assembly so we can go ahead and just pull these speakers out of the way and then we'll remove the screws for the little uh, little back cover bar here. To remove that then you'll have access to uh, the rest of the hinge mounts all right now we're going to open up the display and flip it over and supporting it with your hand underneath go ahead and remove those hinge screws. Alright, now you can see um, the keyboard, the touchpad are non-removable, look like they're riveted in. Um, the only thing here is basically this little interface board. So that's how you take apart the palm rest. Alright, now for the display assembly, it's like a lot of others, you're going to separate the bezel from the back cover. Um, and then the crease on the back side is where you're gonna insert the straight edge. So just go along 
And then once you've started to separate it, then you can start pulling on the bezel to remove it. Since so you got a little bit of slack in there. finish popping it off and there you have the inside of the display assembly. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to uh, take the display assembly apart is to remove the uh, screen. It looks like the display cable is also underneath the hinges. So we'll go ahead and Remove the four screws holding on the LCD. All right, then we can just peel back the masking tape to give us a little bit of slack on the video cable. We're gonna gently flip the display over. And remove that display cable. And this one's got a little bar. Just flip up the little bar and then you can pull the display complete, the uh, LCD from the display cable. All right, now let's get those hinges. like four screws on either side and the hinges should come off. So we have the video cable, webcam, and Wi-Fi antenna still attached. So the video cable appears to be a one piece with the um, webcam cable. So we'll go ahead and unplug the webcam cable and then we can get that video cable out of there. Use a small tool to go ahead and push that out. Looks like you're gonna have to lift up on the Wi Fi antenna adhesive here because they routed it underneath. And then you can finish pulling the cable out of the little tabs. And the webcam is very thin, so if you need to remove it, um, I recommend going from the bottom here and pulling it up like this. I would never start on either side because it's just gonna bend the webcam and probably ruin it. how you remove the webcam. All right, so in this case, we're gonna just go ahead and leave those Wi-Fi antennas. 
Um, so that is how you take apart the display portion of this Lenovo gaming laptop. Um, so that's it. That's how you uh, take apart the Lenovo uh, Y520 Legion gaming laptop. If this video helped you or you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.